Let's take a few minutes today to talk about SOLIDWORKS filters. Oftentimes when we're building parts we like to rename features so they have a more descriptive name rather than just a fillet 1 or fillet 2. When doing so, the most commonly used letter in the English alphabet is the letter E. The letter E is typically what gets us in trouble in SOLIDWORKS. When we press the letter E when the graphics area is active, this little blue funnel cloud shows up on your cursor. That's a hint that you have turned on the SOLIDWORKS filters. This little funnel cloud looks like a tornado, not so much quite like this one. Usually tends to make people want to run away, but you probably shouldn't because the wind speeds are incredible. You should take cover. Uh, the F scale is used to rate the wind speeds and is a reminder of what keyboard shortcut to use to bring up the filter toolbar. F5 being the worst wind speeds is the keyboard shortcut that we're going to use. When I have a uh, funnel cloud on my cursor, if I hit F5 or even without the funnel cloud on my cursor, uh, it will bring up the filter toolbar down below and it will show me what filters, in this case edges, that have, have been filtered for or turned on. The icon on the left toggles filters on and off, your previous selections again on and off. I tend to use the clear all filters which shuts off any of the previously used ones as well as any current ones. This uh, icon here selects all filters if you wanted to limit your selection to everything and then turn off a couple of things you weren't going to use. That might be a little bit easier than clicking on every one of them. But I tend to use the clear filters and I'll show you why. Uh, if I was going to put on some fillets, I might select the E for edges as the keyboard shortcut. Shows behind the filter for edges name here. It toggles on the filter for edges so I can then pick edges not faces, which would be helpful for fillets, but not so much starting sketches. I would then come back to the toolbar and hit clear. If at a future time I was doing some more fillets and I filtered for edges and faces, the filter funnel cloud shows up on my cursor and I can pick faces or edges for filleting or other commands. But if I toggle them off, everything seems fine at first. It's when I go to reuse it again that I might get in trouble. If I turn on the, or press the E key to turn on the filter for edges, you notice that it didn't turn on just edges. It turned it on, turned on the faces as well because it toggled the previous settings. And that's fine if, if you get the hang of that. Where you can get into trouble is thinking that if you hit E again, which I'm going to do, it didn't shut off all of it. It only shut off the edges. So the E shortcut is a toggle to turn the previous settings back on if it was used but not off it only turns off the one so that's kind of confusing so I always come in to the toolbar and hit the clear all filters to keep it simple so remember F5 is your keyboard shortcut to turn your toolbar for filters on and off and you probably want to use the clear all filters rather than the toggle